Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim, Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. Well, first off, someone had mentioned to me that the hackers are probably getting my information from my video camera and my microphone on my computer or Renee's computer. Well, here's something that our Kapersky Total Security blocks webcam. No access, basically. Uh, the access to my webcam is denied by my Kapersky program. Of course, it's also checking everything I've been to, all my browsing information. It's detected that there have been almost 20,000 attempts to hack my computer. But they're being blocked by my Kapersky program. So, how is it again? Unless you know a back door around Kapersky, which then that would mean maybe you work for Digital Rivers or some government agency. I want to mention real quick here too that I post on Facebook after uh, Stephen Hawking passed away about uh, now he knows that there's a God and I well I got some people you know commenting negatively some people positive to leave me Long story short, there was this one woman in particular, and I had the news station remove her comments, but I saved them for um, reference on what she was saying about me constantly. Constantly, constantly, and I constantly try to defend myself because she thinks she knows it all, but really she doesn't know anything at all. These people who are atheists that do not believe want to mock God and the Bible and his servants are the problem not people like me here's something else too uh, a, fr a friend of mine on Facebook he is being threatened as well on, on uh, for his posts and he was asking a question should he report it to the FBI and everybody keeps telling me, yeah, report, report, report. Here's something here that, um, I like, uh, well, let's see which one, uh, what is it here? All right, there. This person right here said, call the authorities. The world we live in is a dangerous and full of anger and hostility. That is the world that we live in today. Full of anger, hostility. Why? Because Jesus said, 
in Matthew 24. Matthew 24, Jesus said, first off, All these things are the beginning of sorrows. And then there will be tribulation. Then there will be great tribulation. Great tribulation and wrath is not the same thing. The wrath of God and great tribulation is not the same thing. The thing is, great tribulation will only last for the saints three and a half years. And then, and then comes the wrath of God. But Jesus says right here, Many will be offended. In Matthew 24.10. Many will be offended. That's, what is, that's what's going on. There are so many people being offended because we Christians are preaching the truth. Because we want you to know the truth. And not to be in darkness like some other Christians are in darkness they some Christians they are the part of the five foolish virgins again here in Luke 21 Jesus talks about also Nation will rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, earthquakes in various places, famines, pestilences, all that's been going on and still going on. There will be fearful signs and great signs in the heavens. There's a lot of things going on before his return. You will be brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. Then uh, let me go here to another one as soon as I uh, get to it here. I got several ones that are open I wanted to show you. Mark 13, Jesus also says here, Brother will be to a brother, father his child, and children will rise up against their parents, causing them to be put to death. And you will be hated by all for my name's sake. But he who endures to the end will be saved. Again, that's the same thing Jesus said in Matthew 24. He who endures to the end will be saved. Not before the tribulation. But after the tribulation. And then Jesus uh, talks about when you see the abomination of desolation spoken by Daniel the prophet. Standing where it ought not. Well, that's also talked about in another place of the Bible.
Also, I wanted to mention here real quick, too, is uh, in 2 Thessalonians 2. Now, brethren, concerning the coming, which is also called parousia in the Greek, Uh, meaning coming or arrival or event of our Lord Jesus Christ and our gathering to Him, which is uh, rapture, not the second coming. Uh, let's see where I wanted to read here. Let no one deceive you by any means, for that day will not come unless one there is a falling away first and the man of sin is revealed the son of perdition who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God or that is worship so that he is set as God in the temple of God showing himself that he is God There is much more in this scripture that talks about other things here. But I don't want to be on here too long. Uh, I want to go to something else here first. I want to go to 1 Timothy 4 where, it's, where Timothy talks about in latter times, some were to part from the faith, giving heed to deceiving spirits, demons, and doctrines of demons, speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their own conscience seared with a hot iron, forbidding to marry, and commanding to abstain from foods which God created to be received with thanksgiving by those who believe and know the truth. For every creature of God is good and nothing is to be refused if it is received with thanksgiving. For it is satisfied by the word of God in prayer. I mean, sanctified, excuse me. Sanctified by the word of God and prayer. Again. People constantly trying to say, I'm fat. Really? If I'm fat, how much do I weigh? How much do I, I weigh? Some people think I'm 400 pounds. Wow. I should be on that, my 600 pound life. So if that's the case, I'm not. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Second Timothy 3 also says about the end times. But know this, that in the last days perilous times will come, for men will be lovers of themselves. All these people who are on social media complaining about us believers uh, preaching the truth and teaching the truth on social media, they're, they're just so full of themselves. They, they love themselves more than they really love the truth. Lovers of money, boasters, proud, blasphemers, they blaspheme God, they blaspheme the Bible, they blaspheme everything that is good. Disobedient to parents, again, that's what Jesus said, also will happen. Unthankful, unholy, unholy, unloving, unforgiving, slanderers, without self-control, brutal, despisers of good, traitors, headstrong, hearty, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying its power. From such people, turn away. 
turn away from those people. If they don't want to hear you, knock the dirt off your shoes and walk away from them. I, I, as I, I keep saying, if you don't like what I have to say, don't come to my YouTube channel. But you come to my YouTube channel and poke fun of me because that's the demon that's inside you. The demon inside you. I see that's what demons like to do. They like to poke fun of men of God. Because that's all they can do. Can't really hurt me. No matter how much you try. Because God's word says, No weapon formed against me will prosper. But yet, I still can have a weapon for self-defense. Not to go after somebody, like someone said, and, you know, try to take them out. And all I do is pray for God to bless my enemies and well I also tell God to and I remind him of his word vengeance is yours not mine alone but his so if he had if he um wants to show you that he's God by some other means. He's trying to get your attention. You're just hard-hearted, hard-headed, stubborn, and don't want to listen. And I pray that sooner or later you will wake up and you will listen. As far as all this evil stuff that's been going on. You know, again, technology. It's a good thing and it's a bad thing. Especially, it's a good thing for those like me. That's trying to get the truth out. And it's also a bad thing when there are people that know how to get around it. And do things to hurt people like me. Through technology. Then there's the case with that footbridge that fell down in Florida. Supposedly, an uh, inspector or somebody, I, I can't remember exactly what his title is right now. But he saw something, he tried to report it, but through technology, I guess he was, you know, text somebody or try to get their attention through technology. They didn't, they got a little too late. They got the message too late. It's like some issues we've been having with Yahoo here lately. We sent an email and it takes a while for that email to get through. Technology isn't as great as it once was because there's so many people on their cell phones using cell phones and tablets plus computers. I think more people is using their cell phones than anything else nowadays for their uh, internet. Because they can't get Wi-Fi, or Wi-Fi is too costly for them, so they use uh, unlimited data on their cell phones. But then they're finding out they really can't do everything they want to do with their unlimited data.
So technology really isn't as great as a lot of people think it is. It's a great tool and a great platform for people like me to get the truth out. And to get information sent from one place to another place in a timely manner. But it has its drawbacks. Like everything else. Snail mail has its drawbacks. There's a lot of things out there that has its drawbacks. I would say, but I'm not going to say any more than that because right now I just need to get off here and post this video. I hope this um, God crosses somebody that we are living in the last days and I'm not the only one that is being attacked by non-believers and all these other people that think they're better. God bless you. Have a blessed day.